This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 11. So we're asked to write a Riemann sum that approximates the area under our curve F between F and the x-axis from 2 to 5 with n rectangles for the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Okay, So then we want to actually plug in and approximate the area using at least four different values of n. Okay, then we want to answer the question, for what value of n is your approximation most accurate and why? All right, so remember when we're finding the area using Riemann sums, we get the area is equal to some starting variable. You can use any variable you want other than don't use a, b, x, you know, the ones that are already being used. Um, so commonly it's i or k equals 0 the n minus 1, and we have here the base times the height of every rectangle. We have delta x is the base, and the function starting at a plus delta x times our variable i here is going to be the area. So when we're given this, right, the area between our function and the x-axis from 2 to 5, this we know um, using n rectangles means we're going to go ahead and start with i is equal to 0, and we still stop at n minus 1, right? Delta x we know is equal to b minus a over n. And here we have this region where this is our a, where we start, b is where we stop. So here delta x is equal to 5 minus 2 over n, or 5 minus 2 is 3 over n. And we're given n rectangles, right? So we can just leave it as n. So delta x is 3 over n times f of, well, a again was 2. So 2 plus delta x, remember, was 3 over n times i. Okay? What was our function of f? f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. So we can plug that in. We get i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 of 3 over n times, and then our function now is going to be 3 times x, but x is now 2 plus 3 over n times i plus 5. Okay? So this is the Riemann sum right here. Right? That approximates the area. So let's go ahead and use four different values of n. So you can use any number of n. So for n is equal to, let's start with 10, right? For n is equal to 10, our area between f and our x-axis between 2 and 5 is then approximately. So for n is 10, we know we're going from i is equal to 0 to 9, right, n minus 1. 3 over not, I mean 3 over 10 times 3 times 2 plus 3 over 10 times i plus 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that in our calculator. Right, we go ahead and f3 to sum, right, and then we have the expression is 3 over 10 times, and I have in parentheses 3. I'm just copying it here, times in parentheses, I have 2 plus 3 over 10 times i. Alpha 9 gives me, gives me i. Close the parentheses, plus 5. Close the parentheses. Comma, my variable is i, comma i, and my starting index is 0, my stopping is 9. Close that, and diamond enter is going to help me approximate it. And that's, again, 45.15 units squared. Okay, units squared is because we have area. And that was 4n is equal to 10. So we want at least four values of n. So for n is equal to, let's say, I don't know, let's go 50 then the area is just going to be approximated. This is approximately 
i is equal to 0. Now n is 50, so we're going to 49, right? 3 over 50 times 3, 2 plus 3 over 50 times i plus 5. Okay, so the only thing that's changing here is this, right? Because it has our n. This has the n, and this has the n. Everything else is the same. So I'm just going to edit this line. And instead of 3 over 10, I'm going to change it to 3 over 50. Right. Instead of in the parentheses, I have 3 over 10 again. I'm going to make that 3 over 50. On the outside, I'm going from 0. Instead of from 0 to 9, I'm going from 0 to 49. Diamond enters. Enter is going to... Oops, diamond enter approximates it. And I get that's approximately 46.23 units squared. Okay? So that was for n is 50. So 50 rectangles if I use. So let's say n is 100. What's my area between the function and the x axis from 2 to 5? Again, the only numbers that are changing are, I'm still starting at 0. Now I'm going, because n is 100, I'm going to 99. 3 over 100 times 3 times 2 plus 3 over 100 times i plus 5. Right, I'm just changing. This is my Riemann sum, right? And I'm just changing n to be 100. I'm going to just substitute this. I'm going to change all of the 49. I know is the index is, sorry, it's to 99. The over 50 is now over 100. And this over 50 is also over 100. Okay, so diamond enter. Okay, and that's equal to 46.365 units squared. Okay, so using n is 10, I get 45.15. 50, I get 46.23. 100, I get 46.365. Let's try, we need four values of n. So let's, the last one, let's try 1,000, okay? So now our area is going to be represented to be i equals 0 to 999, 3 over 1,000, 3 times 2 plus 3 over 1,000 times i plus 5 equals, use our calculator. Again, I want to just edit that line before, so I don't need to do as much. Our stopping index is 999. It's over a thousand this time, and it's over a thousand here. Okay, so make sure you push the diamond and then enter, otherwise, it's going to take a lot longer. But if we're approximating, it should be faster, even though it's still going to take a little time because now we're breaking it up into a thousand rectangles. Um, but if you get the exact answer, it's going to even take longer, so don't do that unless you just want it to. Give you the exact answer. Um, so you just wait for it. But I'm guessing as we're increasing the value of n, we're still oh, we're still gonna get around 46. I thought it was done, but I still see it's busy. Right? Oh, and there we go. So we get 46.4865 units squared. All right. So again, when we increase n, right, the number of rectangles, we're getting a better approximation. So we used four different values for n. What value of n is your approximation most accurate? So our approximation for the area for a between 2 and 5. Is most accurate right 
what are they asking? Most accurate for n is 1,000. n is equal to 1,000. This is because, so why is this true? Because we know as we increase n, this is because as n goes towards infinity, the area, right, this area, the approximate area approaches the actual area. So the approximate area approaches the actual area, right? So if we were to plug in 10,000, we're going to get even a better approximation. A million even better, and as n increases, the number of rectangles increases, the actual area is approached. Okay? So, this is one set of problems that, I mean, one set of solutions. We can have a million different possible n's because they just say give at least four different values for n. You could choose any four you would like. Okay? So, that's going to end CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 11.